Here's the thing. I have massive gimbal fatigue. You're probably going to disagree with this, but I prefer using my handheld camera rig in 2024 way more than I go over my gimbal setup. Seven out of 10 times, my gimbal is getting overlooked. Don't get me wrong, gimbals are absolutely amazing and they absolutely have their place in the video creator community. They're an essential tool for getting smooth shots under high speed situations, but that doesn't mean that you necessarily want smooth shots. Every time I'm around an experienced video creator, they know how to leverage motion and chaos and drama and incorporate it into a video using jittery high motion clips. There have absolutely been times in my video career where I filmed something that should have been filmed handheld and I did it on a gimbal. Was it still cool? Yeah, absolutely. Would it have been way better handheld? Oh my gosh, yes. Boxing, things with cars, documentary, airsoft, paintball, vlogging, anything that you wanna feel raw, on the edge about, dramatic. Not to mention tracking when you're going handheld for moving objects is so much easier than on a gimbal. And maybe I'm a little bit biased too because I have a 15 pound cinema rig on a gimbal and I hate carrying that with me everywhere. Sometimes I just wanna go film like a documentary, something small like a passion project and I'm not trying to take my easy rig backpack, my whole RS3 Pro, Atomos Ninja setup. Sometimes I love having a compact handheld camera rig to tell the story and to not draw a lot of eyeballs to me when I walk in with the rig. I can't tell you how much I love just having my FX3 with the top handle, the Atomos Ninja 5 right on top. It's very easy to bring into places. I film gym content sometimes and if I were to come in there with the ring grip, I would have so many people like, why does this guy have a freaking, is he a news anchor? Like what's going on? But if I come in there with like a top handle and a monitor, we're good to go. And I can still tell a very compelling story on Instagram. I think that for me in the beginning of being a videographer, I thought that you needed a gimbal to tell compelling stories. And that couldn't be further from the truth. They are amazing if you leverage them correctly, but so is handheld footage. Now, every single time I have a client project, I ask myself prior to even getting to the gig for the day, I'm like, should this be filmed handheld? Is there drama? Is there high action energies that I should play into to tell the story better? Or should I use a gimbal to give it a more cinematic, a more professional look. Another huge con to having a gimbal is that everything is so smooth that people on Instagram, social media, you know, if it's a talking head on a gimbal, people are going to think it's an ad and they're going to scroll away. There's a reason that iPhone footage does so well is because it's raw, it's relatable, it's shaky, and people don't think they're about to be sold to. Whether you're talking about content marketing, filmmaking, videography, there's so many perks to going handheld that people just overlook constantly. Not to mention, I think people also think you're losing capabilities by going handheld versus on a gimbal, and I couldn't disagree more. I'm still able to use my Mirage map box. I'm still able to have my monitor. I can still control everything that I need to have an external battery. I can even have like a focus wheel so that I can do like pull manual focus easier. You're not losing capability by going handheld. It's just that not every shot needs to be smooth. I also find that even the shoots that I go out and I use my gimbal for, I'm only using the gimbal aspect of the gimbal. That doesn't even make any sense, but the smooth unlocking all the joints and actually using the gimbal 30 to 40% of the time. I'll lock up my joints the other 60% and I'll do handheld shots. I think that for me, I got to a point where I no longer tied my quality of work to the amount of gear that I was using. I realized that I could tell a compelling emotional story without having a ton of gear. And so being able to just grab the FX3 and a monitor and head out has been astronomically easier than having to pull out my gimbal and balance everything and bring this huge setup everywhere I go. It's just creating friction between me and creating compelling stories. It's funny, I have a friend, Ethan Adams on Instagram, e.adamsmedia. He's feeling just as jaded about gimbals, but he films a lot of automotive content. It has to be smooth with the speed ramping. But, but he also says all the time, you do not have to have a gimbal to speed ramp. You can still use a lot of the same VFX effects in Premiere slash DaVinci that you're already using by going hand. Held. I'm beating on a dead horse here, but I'm just trying to create a trend almost of not thinking that as a beginning videographer in order to level up that you need to have a gimbal because that is just total bullshit. If you're a beginning videographer and you're like, oh, should I get a gimbal? The answer to that is you should work on the fundamentals of composition, exposure, color grading, sound design, storytelling. All of those things are so much more important than the gear that you have. I'm going to get off of my high horse now. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to my TED talk and you guys have a great day.